Greetings. Um, I was going through some of my daughter's um, old math assignments from last year, and I came across some manipulatives that I made for her to help her better understand place value. Um, she's a very tactile, hands-on person, so I knew I needed to find something that she could manipulate to get a better understanding. So I started going on various websites, and I came across a Montessori website that had these place value tiles. And it had a demonstration on how they worked, and I immediately knew that they would work for her, but I didn't want to spend $40 for these tiles. So what I did was I got some cardstock, and I used my computer. I used my regular um, Word software, and um, I used a table format and created these uh, place value cards. Um, and they're, they're laminated for durability so that I can use them with my other children. And how they work is you... Um, Create a word. Now these are just go up to the hundreds place, but you can make them as you know as high a number as you want. Although I found that when you do that, you'll have to make the tile smaller depending on the size of the paper that you're using. This was made with basic eight and a half by nine. I'm sorry, eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper. So I was only able to get up to the hundreds place. But if you have paper that's longer, you can probably get away with using. Um, the same font size and get maybe to the thousands or ten thousands. So for instance what you would do is let's say the number was 111 you would put the cards together like that and then the child would see 111 so then you would ask you know what place value is um, I should have used a better number but what number is in the tens place? You'd be able to slide the cards down and then each card, each color would show the value of that number. And you can do that with any other, so let's say the number was 123. And you ask the child what place value is the two in, they could slide it down and say that the two is in the tens place. So these were really, uh, an awesome helping tool. She was able to grasp the concept of place value and she started using them a lot in the beginning of the lesson and as she used them more and more she was able to understand and use nothing at all. She was able to just look at the numbers and break down their place value. Um, I have the templates saved on my homeschool share profile and I have it available free. If I can remember the link, because I rarely use it, I'll post the link so you can just download it free. Or you can just play around with your Word software and create them yourself. Um, I changed the format of the paper from standard to format, I'm sorry, to landscape, so that you can use your paper the long way. But like I said, if I find the link, I'll post it so that you guys can just download them and use them yourself. Um... I recommend that if you do do that, you use different colors for each place value so that they can see the difference. And um, I hope this helped. Peace.